you have COVID-19 assigned areas. For example, Kalyusha is, is very clear in saying the COVID unit that is, you know, ventilation and stuff is, is you have a specific unit that's yeah. uh, six, six beds, and then you can move into different areas. Um, and, you know, you as you move along, you, you start using the areas along the ANU that has been specifically assigned to that to a maximum, for example, 20. Mm -hmm. uh, you ne never had so many at, at Kalyusha. You have had 10 confirmed cases max and four or five patients that are what are classified as persons on the investigation that you're just waiting for your results. So they are in this transition area. Once you have determined they are negative, then they move to the specific area of the hospital or they are sent home depending on what they have. Mm -hmm. uh, Orange Walk was um, the maximum beds that they could have used was um, 12 at any given point in time. They had nine going into the weekend. Corozal beds that they had was eight. They had five um, patients hospitalized. Um, not all of them are, are COVID-19 cases, but again, are persons under investigation. Mm -hmm. So you can't put them in other areas of the hospital. So um, you, you, you follow those flags as you move along. So when you start looking at Orange Walk, more than Carlucian and Corozal, starting to, to, to see those numbers start to go, um, then you have to look at what is going to be your plan B, your plan C. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at, for example, um, activating the area in Belmopan. You know, Belmopan had a specific area that hasn't really been used um, outside of the Western Regional Hospital. It would have been a COVID-19 backup hospital, if you will, for Carthusian, for non-invasive patients. So we had put in a plan somewhere that if you have patients that are starting, your spillover then of yeah. patients, that look for where you're going to put them. 